हेलो हाय हाउ आर यू ओए 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 हो जा या श्योर Hi. Hey, how are you today? Yeah, I'm fine. And you? Yeah, um, I'm fine too. I'm uh, I'm good. Okay. So we're going to continue our lesson for today. Okay. 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 So let me share with you my screen now. Okay. Uh, I hope you can see this one. You can see it, Koi. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay. So last time uh, we were talking about all of these things, right? All of the things uh, about the the city of Brooks, city of Ubud, New York City. Okay. And we were talking about also about people, okay, living in this particular city, such as David, Amanda, and. Uh, Sam on oh, David is not right, so it's Amanda, Sam, and Mika. Yeah. Okay, and uh, we all know that um, of course they live in different city city in the yeah. world. Okay, and um, yeah, now this time we're not we're not yet done with this particular activity, right, Koi? Yeah, sure. Yes, so we're going to outline okay or we're going to do this activity outlining activity number three then we, let's try to check the topics that each speaker talks about okay so we're would we're, we're done already amanda right yes yeah what about sam are we done this one uh i think i no. think ah uh, yeah because we 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 uh no, yeah, Amanda. Okay, now let's try to talk them all. Okay, now yes. what about when you say Amanda? Is she able to uh, mention? Okay, during the the um, activity or the interview, did she mention about the climate? Hmm. I okay. yes, she mentioned that she stepped into the cool forest. Okay, so it's checked. What about architecture? Does uh, she mention yeah. about architecture? Yes. Okay. What about food? Yes. Yeah. Delicious. More delicious. Yeah. yeah. Actually, all of them, right? All of them, they mention about food. And then what about shopping? Mm, actually, not. Um, yeah, it was yes. not mentioned, uh, particularly in Amanda's interview. What about museums? Museum. Oh, I don't remember clearly. Yeah, but uh, I don't think as uh, she mentioned about museums in there. Lectures. Yes. She yes, was. because she she was able to have a lecture, right? And then yes. she also walks, right? In in yes. a in a forest. Okay. What about Sam? Climate. He was able to mention that, right? Yes. Okay, and then architecture too. Yes. And then food. Was, was yes. delicious. Yeah. What about shopping? No. No. She, it wasn't. Museums. Um. No. Yeah. Then no, it's not lecturing, right? Yes. Yeah. And then what about walks? Um. He do some sport and no sports, work. but not walk walking. Okay. What about Mika? Mika mentioned about the climate also. Okay. No, no we, she doesn't mention. Ah, uh, she doesn't mention it. What about the architecture? Architectures. Yes. Yes. Of course, obviously the food. What about food shopping? Is no. She mentioned that. Okay, museums. Yeah. No. Yes. What about, yeah, museum, yes. Lectures. I don't know. 
yeah, it's yeah, it's not okay. She wasn't able to mention that. Then walked. Well, no, no, yeah, okay, okay. So moving on to activity number five. Okay, read the description of the people, match its picture or its person with the best vacation city. So use the information in your notes in activity number three. So in activity number three, so of course we just have to um, tell if it is Ubud, if it is Brooks, if it is New York. So Eric likes modern cities. He loves to go museums. He also loves to go shopping and eat different kinds of food. What do you think it is? Okay, would you like to listen again to the, to the, okay, to uh, what is this one? To our conversation. Would you like to listen it again? Let's try yes. to listen it again, okay? Unit seven. Can you hear Listening that? Listening one. No. Activity B. Okay. Good evening, and welcome to Travel Talk. Oh, wait, sorry. Okay, for a while. I have to copy this in here. Unit 7, Listening 1, Activity B. Good evening, and welcome to Travel Talk. Tonight... We're talking about three special cities, and we have three visitors to talk to us about them. Let's start with Amanda. Hi, Amanda. What city is special for you? Hi, David. Well, I visited Ubud last month. It's on the island of Bali in Indonesia. How was it? It was fantastic, David. I loved the beautiful old buildings and the food was delicious. How was the weather? Well, Bali has a very warm climate. The average temperature is usually about 26 degrees, but in Ubud, we walked through the forests, and it was very cool and comfortable. Was there a lot to do? Oh, yes. Ubud is a center for the culture of Bali. I went to lectures and took walks every evening. Ubud sounds like a fantastic city. Thanks, Amanda. Next, let's talk to Sam. Hi, Sam. What city do you want to talk about? David, I recently visited Bruges, a city in Belgium. It's a beautiful city. The architecture is amazing. I enjoyed seeing historic buildings, like City Hall and there were museums all over the city. That sounds great. How was the food? The food was delicious. In my opinion, Bruges has the best chocolate in the world. I agree. I love Belgian chocolate. Thanks, Sam. And finally, let's talk to Mika. Mika, you recently visited New York City. Yes. I was there just last week. So, how was it? It was great. I love New York. I go there every year. Everything is big and modern and busy. There are over 8 million people in New York City. There are huge skyscrapers everywhere. And the museums, like the Natural History Museum, are big, too. What were your favorite things about New York? Well, the shopping is great. I shopped every day in really big department stores and little shops all over the city. I also loved the restaurants and cafes. New York has every kind of food in the world. I tried Ethiopian food for the first time. Well, thank you, everyone for telling us about three special cities. Okay, there you have it. Now let's try yeah. to identify now. Okay, number one, what do you think would be the description of this? Okay, oh, New York. it's New York. New York. Yeah, because according to the person that was interviewed, 
she went yeah. to a shopping and eat different kinds of food in there, right? And then she also mentioned about modern cities and museums. So that's New York City. What about number two? This or TDs are love to go to place with beautiful yes. warm weather. It's Ubu. Yeah, okay. So it was mentioned that Ubud has a warm weather, except yes. for some places that is cool, right? But uh, mostly Ubud city is warm. Okay. Yes. And of course, it's very obvious that the last one is it's Bruges, right? Because yes. this Bruges is um, a Europe European cities and uh, mostly, uh, of course, it's uh, our history coming from the European. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that's it. Very good. Next, moving on in here. So. Are we going to listen it again or we just have to continue? Of course, we can be able to answer them now, right? So the, can you read this one, Koi? The average temperature in Bali is very warm. Yeah, it's warm. Okay, some, some places in Bali, Indonesia, especially in Ubud, is somehow cool, okay? But... Uh, uh, in Bali, Indo Indonesia, okay, the whole Indonesia is warm. Number two. Your speaker enjoys going to lectures and taking words every, mm -hmm. every weekend. Okay, every weekend. Who mentioned that? Is it Sam? Um, is it Mika? Is it? One, the first one. Okay, the first yeah. one. Okay. Next, according to the speaker, Bruges has. According to the speaker, Bruges has. Bruges has a big shopping mall. Yes, it has a big shopping mall. Number four. The speaker team through had the best chocolates in the world. Yes, that's right. And number five. Number five, the speaker visit New York uh, last last week. Last week, okay. And number six? One of the speaker favorite things about New York is the museum. The museums, okay. Okay, so all of these things are all description of a place, okay? Yeah. And um, yeah. We're talking about we're talking about uh, warm weather. We're talking about when they go there, okay, or or he or she goes there, okay, and then about yes. a big shopping mall, about the best chocolate, about museum, and then last week, okay, okay. Yeah. So let's move on to the vocabulary part now. Now let's try to say. Okay, we have to use the correct word in order to complete the sentence. So we have here two uh, words to choose from. Can you read first sentence number one, Koi? Yes. I We went holiday last summer. Okay, so is it is it holiday or is it, is it abroad? No, it's holiday. Why holiday? Because the sound of the convert of these sentences is sound like they had just went to a holiday. Yeah, because if we are talking about abroad, meaning they were going to go out of their country. Okay, yes. so that would that would mean abroad. But in this particular sentence, they just spent a, a holiday during summer. Okay, or last summer. Number two, Koi. Number two, I had to hire accommodation. I had to hire accommodation or I had to arrange accommodation? I had to hire accommodation. Arrange. 
Okay. Yeah. When we are when we are accommodating, when we are when we are doing the accommodation, you need to arrange that with the with the personnel. So it should be arranged because when you say hire, you are you are hiring a personnel. Okay. Uh -huh. And accommodation, we're, we're, we're not hiring that. We are arranging that. Okay. So the correct one would be arranged, not hire. Okay. Again, when you say hire, it could be an employee or it could be a person that is applying for a job. And then if he or she was able to be hired, so that's the time that she or he hired already. Okay. But instead, okay. if we are talking about accommodation, let's say, for example, hotel accommodation. So you need to talk to a personnel of that hotel and make an arrangement. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, number three. We, hmm, we might go to Japan in June. Mm -hmm. So what's the correct answer? Is it might or have? Let, let, let's try to do this one. We have to go to Japan in June. No. Why? Because have, because have you in what we call, oh yes, you in present perfect thing or have, have to flirt with two. Okay. So have to go to Japan in June, right? But in this particular sentence, we have to use might, okay? Because they have planned, okay? They might, they might go to Japan in June, okay? Okay, next, number four. I need to get travel insurance. Yes, again, do not say hire, okay? So you need to get a travel insurance. So travel insurance can be, can be get, or can, can, we can, we can get that. But we cannot hire that. Okay. Next, number okay. five. Number five. I can we hire? No. Can we hire? No. Yeah, yes, yeah. I can we hire a car? Yes. Okay. Now, sometimes hire, we can also hire something. Uh, a driver, okay, in order for, for that particular car to be drive by that particular car, uh, person. So, therefore, the correct one to say is hire, okay? So, w can we hire a car here, okay? Or, or you may also say you are going to rent for a car here. That's why you are going to say hire. Not pack, because when you're going to pack, you're going to put the car in, in, uh, inside, right? So that not, yes. not pack, okay? So it's hire. Next, number six. I must buy my passport. Yeah, okay. Do not say I must hire my passport, okay? So it should be fined, because maybe that uh, his or her pass, uh, passport uh, got lost, so therefore he or she should find that one. Number seven. Have you packed your suitcase? Yes. So have you packed your suitcase? So do not say have you made your suitcase. Okay. Next, number eight. Did you book the flight to Paris? Yes. So the correct one is book. If we are talking about something that is about a uh, flight, okay, or something that you need to go somewhere, okay, so in order for you to book a ticket, so you have to use book, do not say no. have, okay, okay, mm. so I hope it's very um, um, uh, underst understood already, Koi, right, okay, sure. again, remember the word, okay, we have to say holiday, arrange, might, Okay, get, hire, find, packed, and book. Okay, so you have to remember when do we use that one in that particular sentence. Okay, moving on now. Now let's try to complete the sentences. Example, we went on a guided tour. So what do you think would be the missing word in here 
that we can be able to supply with this particular sentence. She blanked a lot of photos of some old French villages. So, what so I think she takes a lot of photos of yes, some old of French uh, villages. Okay. So when you say when you say photos, of course, what would be the correct word? It should be she take. Okay, are we going to say she take or she takes? She takes. Yes, with an S in it, right? So, um, I, you, we, they, without an S. But if you're talking of she, he, she, it, so we have to take with S. So that's a verb, verb rule, okay? So she takes a lot of photos of some old French villages. That's correct. Number two, Koi? You just go and look for the museum. Yes. Okay, so the correct one is four. So you should go and look for the museums. They're very interesting. Next. I was lost because I didn't have a map. Yeah, so I was lost. Okay, why we need to use the word was or the be verb was? Because it's for past tense or um, past tense. It's already past tense because the action is done already, right? So that's why we need to use was and not where because our subject is I. So that means it's just only one. So therefore, we have also to take the singular verb that is in the past. So therefore, we have to say, I was lost because I didn't have a map. That's correct. Number four, Koi. We went to the... Oh, we went to the art gallery, gallery to see. Yeah. Those... Okay, Picasso, Picasso paintings. Can you say it, Koi? Say it again. Yeah, yeah, the word Picasso paintings. Picasso paintings. Okay, so the correct one is to oh. the art gallery. Okay, that's correct. Number five. We, we went on a tour of the center and the and the center were interesting and funny. Okay. And uh and, and the center. Okay, was interesting, interesting and funny. So we went on a tour of the center. Okay. And the center. Okay, yeah, because we are talking about this one. Okay, we're talking about this one that it this was interesting and funny so funny. it should be center so we went on a tour a tour of the center and the center was interesting and funny okay now why we use all of those why we need to use all of those because our lesson for grammar would be past. simple or past simple form of the verb Okay, now we are going to study in here rules. How are we going to do that? Okay, now under the past simple form, we have the following subjects if we are talking about a pronoun subject, right? But of course, if we are talking of uh, a noun, we can also use a noun also as our subject. But in here, we have to use the pronoun, okay? Yeah. If we're going to use the subject or, or the pronoun as the subject, I pronoun, of course, the verb to follow would be was, okay? Because we are talking only of one person. And then our modifier would be, I was at home yesterday. Yeah. Now, we have to remember sometimes, okay, um, in a sentence, there would be 
the so-called clue in order for us to identify if that particular verb that we're going to use is under the past simple form through the use of the following word, okay? Such as yesterday, the other day, okay? Last year. So those are the clue that we need to use the past uh, simple form of the verb. Or we can also say, I worked, okay? I worked as the right rat home. Oh, as the yeah, right rat home, okay? So again, why do we need to put an ed to our base form? Because it's under? It's, it's already um, passed. Right? Yes, it's so it's already done. So the action is already done. Now, below the other slide, we are going to study how are we going to form the past simple form of the verb. Okay? How are we going to form that? Now, again, if we have the you, we, they, of course, we're talking you always can also be used even if it is we are talking of a singular subject. Okay? Okay. But most of the time, we have to take the plural verb for that. Okay? Same with the we, same with, with the they. Let's say, for example, you were students. Okay? So why we need to use the plural verb that is in the past? Because we're talking about Those. you. Okay, we're talking about the subject that is under plural. Okay, yeah. or many. Or we can also say they studied in the university. Okay, so why do we need to use this particular verb? Okay, our, remember, our base form of the verb is study, okay? But why we need to do this? Later on, we're going to know the rules, okay? Now, if we have also he, she, it, again, this one is singular, so therefore we have to use the singular the verb. So he was, okay, she was, it was. Or we can also say, he came, she came, it came. Okay, and look at this one. Because some verbs are irregular verbs. Okay, yeah. so in forming the, 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 the past form or past simple form of ir uh, irregular verbs, so we need to what? We need to do some changes of it, okay? Okay. Did you understand this one, Koi? Yes. Okay, so all of these are under positive or affirmative, okay? Part. And all of below, okay, are under the negative. Okay, again, same thing or same uh, rules applies in here, okay? Positive was, if we try to uh, uh, use the negative one, it could be was not, or we can also contract that one coy. So what's the contraction yeah. of this? We can wasn't. say wasn't, wasn't, okay? So what happened to our O? Okay, we have to remove the O, and we need to replace it with a comma. Uh, what is one? A um a comma, right? Uh, no, not comma. a comma. No, not not. Is it a comma? Apostrophe, rather. Okay, it's apostrophe like this. Okay, or we can also say, I. Okay, positive worked, and of course a negative one would be did not work, or we can also contract that didn't work okay but we do not use now the ed okay okay same thing applied in here okay where we're not or we can also say weren't then studied it could also be 
didn't study or we have to say or we can also say did not study then was was not or wasn't came didn't come or did not come so we have to use the original base form which is come if we are talking about of irregular yes. verb okay under the negative contraction okay okay questions with this koi no question no more. okay now let's try to study now how we're going to form the regular forms of of the verb under its simple past tense now base form plus ed like for example some words just add only ed in order for us to form the simple past tense like walked becomes Rock. walked Rock. play becomes play play okay and there are other words like for example let's say for example pick becomes pick what? pick becomes uh, pick. yeah like for example i have to pick this up so it should be picked right okay so we just need to add ed in it okay and many more and then there are also some of the regular verbs that ends in in e. e. Yes. So what happened to that to this one? Okay. So we just have only to add d. E. Okay. No need to put ed because it's very understandable that it ends in e. So it's obvious that we need to add only d. Like for example, like. Then it becomes like moved becomes Ooh. moved yes okay and many others so we also have let's say for example bike so we can say oh. bike right okay uh we can also say like for example what else um wait Bars, I think we change in verb part particle is we call board. Again? Yes, let me charge. Um, I mean, when we when we change the form of bar, it mm -hmm. would be board. It's not yeah. bar. Bite with the e, with the D in it. No. Why? Yes. That means let's be charged okay it's form like this right it's not by ah okay you mean a uh, by okay you mean by okay i mean this one uh, okay yeah that because that's a regular verb okay it's it's bought okay that is uh by Okay, what I mean is that. Ah, oh, bye. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> although, although, yeah, although uh, bike sometimes can also be used as noun, right? But if you try yeah. to put the D in it and use that one as a verb in the sentence, so that becomes? Bye. Bye, okay. That becomes a past simple tense, okay? Okay, and you are yeah. right when you say the, the past tense of by is bought okay the past tense of uh, bring is brought right okay yes. and many others so we are going to study that one also okay but this time we have to concentrate first in here okay another one okay and uh, many others okay that is not just only two huh these are just only example uh, uh koi okay next okay. Can you um, read this? The I'm rule sorry. verbs. I'm sorry, I don't see anything. Ah, you cannot see it. Okay, for a yes, while. You see. I don't yeah. know because I my my phone, my mom phone, so it's pretty, it's not really good. Okay, what about this time now? 
Can you see yeah, it? I see. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I see. yeah. Okay, just what I have said. Now, not just only the two uh two words in here, huh? Because we can also a lot of of verbs ending in e. Okay. So these are just some of the words as an our example. Next, can you say, can you read this one? Rule number three, Koi. Verbs ending with in a consonant plus e. Plus y. So what happens? So change the y into I. I. Then you need to add ed. ed. Yes. Like for example, the word is carry. Okay. So we have to drop the y because the word carry ends in consonant, yes. right? Following a uh, uh, preceding before the Y is a consonant letter. So therefore, we need to drop the Y. Okay, change that one into I and add ED. So what happened to the word carry? It becomes carry. Carry it. Very good. There's another more. When we say study, study. it becomes, becomes Studied. Studied, yes. Okay, when we say, um, like for example, when we say, what else? We have to think of a word that has the Y. When we say, um, what? Wait, wait. I cannot think of other words. Okay, anyway, uh, we have, now, nah, do you have? A uh, scream? No, 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 no. It's, yeah, it's, nah. it's, okay. let me think. Yeah. Uh, in student. So, verbs. Yeah. Carry. Uh, Mary. Yeah. The word is Mary. Right? Mary. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It becomes Mary. Mary. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, then there's another one and a lot more. Okay. Never mind. So, we're going to know that also um, as time goes by in here. Okay. Next. Rule number four, we have some verbs ending and in a single consonant plus the second last letter is a vowel. So what we're going to do is we need to double the last letter double. plus the ED. Okay, like for example, now look at this one. Okay, the, the last letter, okay, uh, which is, no, the some verbs ending in a single consonant, like for example, this one, we have only single consonant in here, right? The N at the end. And then preceding the second last letter, okay, would be a vowel. So what we have to do, we have to double the last letter, okay? So what happened? Then add ED, so plan becomes Plan. plan and then stop becomes stop. Stop. stop then there's another more okay when we say um sway uh, no 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 not swim okay uh when we say um what else stop okay plan okay let's move on <laughs> okay, for as long as we know the rule, okay? Koi, so yes. do you have questions with this? So we already know, know the rule, right? Okay, moving on now. Okay, we have here a, an exercise about past simple tense. So the words are here. So all we need to do is we just have to fill in the blanks in here, right? Okay. Yes. What would be the correct one? Can you read the sentence first and answer, Koi? Are I blank the board? Yes. So, so what do you think? Would... I kicked the yeah. ball. So I kicked the ball. So we have to use the uh, past tense already, okay? Because the action is already done. Next, number two. Is. He's opened the school. No. Nah. Uh, he worked 
to yes. school. Yes, he walked to school. So we need to use the past tense. So we just have to add ed. Next, number three. She is opened the door. Yeah, she opened the door. Number four. It jumped over the wall. Okay, again, he jumped um, over he jumped the, the wall. wall. Okay, that's correct. Number five. We washed the dishes. Yes, we washed the dishes. Number six. You watch the television. Yes, so you watch the television. Number seven. They cooked the dinner. Uh, no, they cooked dinner. Yes, they cooked dinner. Of course, we do not say they wash, okay? Because you cannot wash the dinner. Okay, next. So I hope it's very um, um, uh, understand. Oh, it's, it's understood already, right? So this one is the first rule, right? So the first rule would be we have to add only some of the verbs that um, uh, to its uh, base form. Just add ed. Okay, yeah. next. Now this time, we are going to understand the use of the be verb, okay? In order for us to identify that this particular sentence is already happened in the past or was already happened in the past. Okay, number one, what do you think would be the correct answer? Was or where? It was very hard yesterday. Yes, so why is it we use was? Because it's used a plural for now it. Yeah, okay, because the it is a, it's, it's only one, it's a singular, right? So we need also to form the singular form of the verb was, okay? Okay, next, number two. I was at the park. I was at the park. Yes, again, I, so therefore we have to use was. Next, number three. They were sick, not quick. Yes, okay, so where? Because we use they. Next. Sailor was at home last night. Okay, so again, we have to use was because Shayla here is only one person. Next, number five. We were, we were at school last Sunday. Very good. So we were at school last Sunday. So we use where because we're talking of the subject we. Okay, next. Let's try to do the alternative or the so-called negative form of it, okay? So what do you think would be the answer? Can you read the sentence first and answer, Koi? It's blown cloudy yesterday. So what's the correct answer? It wasn't cloudy yesterday. Yes, yeah, so it wasn't. Next, number two. We belong at the cinema last night. So we use we wasn't at the cinema last yes. night. So we weren't at the cinema last night because we use the word we, which is plural. Okay, next, number three. The movie wasn't great. Yes, so the movie wasn't great because we're talking only of one movie. So we have to take the negative form uh, uh, under its past tense, wasn't. Next, number four. The residents at the theater last Saturday. So they weren't at the theater last Saturday. Number five. All my friend residents at the party on Saturday yes. night. Yes. So the correct one is weren't again. Okay. Now, what's the clue in order for us to identify the proper be verb that we're going to use? So what are we going to remember, Koi, in order to identify that that is a singular or plural? So we have to look at the subject, right? If that is under singular, so we have to use the singular be verb. If that would be a plural, so we have to use the plural form of 
the verb in its past form. Okay. Good job, Koi. Good job. Next. Okay. Again, this one is just only additional information or knowledge, but we did this one already, right? Okay. Same thing. Okay. I, you, they, he, she, it. And then you can also use not. Okay. And now let's move on in here. So this one are what we call uh, information questions. So we use here the WH word. So what are those WH word? It's how, what, and, and when. What? Okay. So these are what we call the WH word. So when you say W, because the, the following question, okay, uh, use to ask question. So W plus one H. Okay, so two W's and one H word. Okay, so if then these are the B verb. Okay, and uh, this would be the subject or the subjects. So what are we going to do? So we're going to say, how were Paris and Rome? Okay, how were Paris and Rome? Okay, oh. so what would be, yes, what would be the possible answers for this question? So it it's, could be, this was, they were great. Yes, why is it they were great? So why it becomes like this? Because we have WH question work, how? And we have the subject, Paris I'm, and Rome. Rome, right? So therefore, we need to take the plural of uh, the pronoun they, because we're talking of two, yes. uh, two places in here, mm -hmm. Paris and Rome. So that's why we have to say they were great. Okay, what if we're just only talking about one? So, it was great. Yeah, so it was great. Okay, because because um, that that one is is not a person. It's not. Uh, it's a thing or it's a place. So therefore, we have to use it. So it where it was. Okay, it was great. Next. Number two. What was your favorite city? Yes. So we use what, okay, as uh, as our question and followed by was. Can we also do this one? What were your favorite cities? Can we also do that? No. Why? Because it doesn't sound reasonable. You, we can. Okay. What were your favorite cities? For as long as we need to change this one to yes. cities. Okay. So uh, you're, you're asking about what were. Okay. We use the be verb where in here in asking the cities that is your favorite. So we can also use what were your favorite cities. Uh, for as long as we use the plural form of the noun in there. Okay? But if this is just only city, of course it's was. Okay? So what would be your best answer for that? Best answer we call Istanbul was my favorite city. Yes. Okay, now remember in order for us to answer this, we have also to remember the be verb that we've been used, okay? If this one is where, you have to say it's where. If this one is was, you need to use that one was, okay? State the place first, then following after this, the, the, the city or the place would be a be verb that is used in here, okay? And then following after that, your favorite city. What if the question is, what were your favorite cities? No. So it could be, it could be. Okay, I'm going to write here huh? just for a while. Okay, city. Wait, wait. 
um CD it has S. Where cities? It has says it has an S. Oh, where yes. am I? Yes, yeah, so we can we could do yes. this. Yes. Okay. Okay. For a while, I have to write it here, Koi, huh? So that we can see yeah. it. Okay. So uh, the one that is uh, what? Wait. What? Where? Your favorite city? And okay, there you have it, Koi. So this would be the question, right? So, of yeah. course, we need to use where in there because we're talking about cities in here. So, what were your favorite cities? So, what would be the possible answer for this question, Koi? They were with you, they were from. Again? Um, so, the best, I think the best answer for the question is what um, they were, they were. Yeah, they Brown. were. Okay. So it could be you have to state the, the, the place first. Okay, maybe I have you can say uh what's what city in your in your country is is a popular uh Ho Chi Minh City, am I right? Uh most popular city in your country. Most famous city in my country? Yeah. Um, Ho Chi Minh City. Yeah, that's it. So Ho Chi Minh City, and let's say for example, what else aside from uh, after Ho Chi Minh City, what would be the next? Hanoi. Hanoi. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Hanoi. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we have to say where my favorite it is. Okay, now look at this one now. Uh, pardon me if I, um, uh, I don't know if my spelling is correct. No, Did no, I home. spell it correctly? Home no. Home. Ah, ho, no, ho, ho Chi Minh. Yes, not Ho Minh. Yeah, so Ho Chi Minh. What's, how, how do we spell Ju? How, ho, ho Chi Minh? Ho Chi Minh. Ho Minh. Chi C H I. C H I. Yes. Ah, Ho Chi Minh. Oh, Ho Chi. C H I. Ho Chi. C H I. And then. Min. Yes, that's right. M I N H, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, I think this one's correct now. Yes, sure. correct? It's yeah, correct. so Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi were Ho my favorite cities. City. Okay, so this would be correct. Okay, but if we are talking only of a city, so we need to, of course, replace where it could be was. So what was your favorite city? So we can say only one, one city. You can also, you can say Hujibin city was my favorite city. Okay. 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 Next. Next, when we say when was the lecture? Okay, so why we need to use was as our be verb? Be verb because the letter is only one. Yes, word. yeah. If we try to put an S in here, so what would be our be verb? Where? It's where, when, where the lectures, okay? And if this would be the sentence, what would be the possible answer for this question? Um, they, would you say, were, they were. Okay, so, um, so the possible answer for this is the lecture was last week. Or you can also, you can also do like this, okay? Uh, in sentence number two, what was your favorite city? So you can say Istanbul was my favorite city. Or you can say my favorite city was Istanbul. You can also do like that. Ha, huh? me, uh, um, uh, Koi, okay? Even you're going to, you mentioned first the city, and then following after the city would be the be verb. 
and then right after that would be the object of the sentence or you can also say my favorite city for as long as you have to use the be verb correctly then following after the be verb would be the city okay just like this one right you can also say the lecture was last week or you can also say last week was the lecture right koi okay okay so is it um uh, is it is it clear koi is it understood yes, now yeah very good okay now look at this one so we're going to use the yes or no question in here so what particular be verbs we're going to use so we have two be verbs in here was and where okay following after the be verb would be the subject so let's say for example we have to take he and then he. after that would be the now. Okay. yeah or so what are we going to say was he in china okay china. so the possible answer for this it could be also yes it could also be no right okay so what would be the the, the possible answer for yes Yes, he was. Yes. Oh, what happened? So you have to put first yes and then put a comma to separate two ideas. Yes. And then you need to do first the subject. The subject. Then after he. that, following after the subject would be the beaver. Okay. So yes, he was. Okay. And for the no answer, it's the same thing. Okay. What you're going to do is you have to say no, but it not it, it it could not be was anymore, but it's the it's the other way around, okay? Or the art uh, alternate of it. So no, he was not, or no, he wasn't, right? Okay. Why? Another one when we say were they excited? So two possible answers in here. If it is yes, so you have to say they were, okay? They were. And then if it is a no answer, so what are you going to say, Koi? No, they were, they wasn't. They weren't, okay? So no, they weren't. Or we can also say no, they are not, okay? But of course, um, in, in making a sentence, it's, uh, it's good if you are going to contract that one. Okay, but also the one that is not contracted can also be acceptable. Okay, it can also be acceptable, but it's advisable to use as much as possible the contracted form in a sentence. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, there is a uh, the so called, um, we should have to understand this one so you can contact or contract negative statements like this, right? And then past time expressions answer the question when, yeah. okay, last, like, like for example, okay, last, last time can become? Last week, last month. Yes. It could be last week, it could be last month, it could be last year, okay? Then when I say time plus ago, that means it means three days ago or one, one year, year ago. ago okay or meaning it was a long time ago okay so that is what we mean that or it, it's it's only a day ago okay it could only be two days ago or it could be also be one week ago okay so that means time plus ago last plus time so it's just like last week last month okay last year so on and so forth now take note of the following these are also clue okay just what i have told you before last week okay um um the other day the other week so those are those are clues that we can be able to use the proper verb okay under its past form Okay. okay. Do you have questions, Koi? 
oppression. Yeah, so I hope it's very, um, okay, I explain it to you, okay? So next, so simple past affirmative statements. Oh, we also, we, we, we uh, uh, discussed this one, right? So no need to discuss that one again. Okay, so this would be our last activity before we have to say goodbye. So what we're going to do is complete Sarah's email about her trip to Istanbul. Use the past form of the words below. So we just have to uh, select, okay, the the verb in here, okay. These these are verbs in its base form, okay. So all we need to do is we have to what to give its past form, right? Okay, so this one is an email. So, dear Anna, can you read this one, Koi? Say. Dear Anna, I'm back from my vacation. Yes. Travel to Istanbul last month. My trip was so much fun. Um, stay, stay. In a really nice hotel. Okay. There were a peaceful pass outside my window. I visited a lot of rain museum. Mm -hmm. I went around the city every day. The food was delicious. I shop. I shop. No, I try Balaska for the baklava. first time. Baklava. Okay, baklava for the first time. The first time. It a dessert made with loose and syrup. On okay. my last day, I shopped at a beach market. There were so many rich care shoes and bars. Let's get to get the shoes I have given for you. See you soon, you Sarah. Soon, Sarah. Okay. Now, uh, those are all correct. Okay. So the word shopped, how are we going to form its past simple form of this? It becomes... Oh. So oh. how do we need that? How, how how are we going to do that? Are we going to add only ed for this? We double p. Yeah. So we have to double the last letter uh, p because preceding before the consonant is a vowel o. So therefore we have to double the p and then add ed so that becomes shaped. What about this one? Stay. We only add ed. Yeah. So we do not take away the y. Okay. Because it is preceded by a vowel letter. So what are we going to do? Just add ed. So this becomes stayed. What about this one? We double. Uh, we double the last yes. letter l. We double again the l and add ed. So this becomes traveled. What about this one? Why we change the consonant? Why yes. I and then add e t. So because the y in here preceded by a consonant letter, so therefore we have to remove the y, change that into i, and add e d. So this becomes tried. What about this one? We just quickly add e d. Yes, so we just have to add ed, so this becomes visited. And what about this one? Yes, also had ed. Yeah, so it becomes walked. Okay, wow. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, so uh, on our next meeting, so we do have only one. Ah, okay. Oh, it's, it's very simple, right? So you just have to, what is that the, the city's name? So we have to, how long did you stay there? How did you go there? What did you do there? Okay. Oh, this okay. may be your assignment. Okay, Koi? Oh, so you just have done. to practice this one. Okay? okay. Okay. And next meeting, we are going to move on to another lesson. Not unless you have questions. Do you have questions so far? Mm, no. And okay. So if you don't have any more questions, well, it's time for us to say goodbye now. Bye for now, and see you again next time. Bye, Koi. That's goodbye. Have a okay. nice night. Have a nice night too. Bye.
Goodbye.